Glasgow 2018 Len European Open Water Swimming Championships. Here we are on the start pontoon and we're gonna go for a drive around the course. So we have the pontoon set up for 40 swimmers. I think the maximum we've got is 38 in the men's 10K. And so as you look up the course, you can see an array of boys. But for the start, all the swimmers have to worry about is going between the two red boys. But this is an actually, it's actually a funnel because um, it's a very narrow going into the bay. So we have to create these channels for the swimmers to go in and out during the laps. And then the sent one is for the referee boats. And off we go. So the water temperature today is 16.7. It's a bit of a cold night last night. The water temperature dropped a little bit. But yesterday we had the 5K. Today it's gonna to be the 10K race. And as you can see right now, we're going through the, the boat channel. But the swimmers on the laps will be going, keeping the red boy on the left and the yellow boy on their right. So effectively, we put some lane ropes in between the two yellow boys. And so we have on the laps, we have them coming in and going out. Okay, so just heading up now, you can see the, the line of yellow boys there going straight up the course. It's not easy um, getting the boys out so straight, so great job done by the team. As I pan across there, this is uh, Cameron House Marina. So during the race, we have to have a boat on there just to make sure that no boats go onto the course. And if you look to the side of us here, these little boys with the flags on, uh, that's the exclusion zone. And that's just to show boats that they can't go into the area where the event has taken place. It's a beautiful day today. Point nine, we've got good. But yeah, hopefully the water will um, get warm today. Now the sun's out. Yeah, once once you're out of the speed limit, then you can just um, just, just go for it. Oh yeah, yeah. So Martin, you come up here. Got a chat about water safety with you. Okay, so as we're going up the course, we'll be able to pick up speed once we get past the uh, the limit here. But Martin, so you're doing the water safety here. Yep. We worked together before on some big events. How's this event for you? Uh, it's it's like a couple of challenges actually. One is um, we're on a really really busy stretch of water, so the um, Loch Lomond here is really popular with kind of people coming on holiday, uh, pleasure boaters, etc. etc. So one of our big challenges is uh, making sure that the course is protected. So that's why we've got these field of play protection. Um, boys in and we've got that exclusion zone in um, and then we've also got some great support from Police Scotland, the um, Ranger Service uh, and the guys at Cameron House Marina all of whom are kind of looking outside of our field of play to, um, to make sure that actually we can focus on the athletes on the inside so that's kind of one of the challenges here um, the other challenge actually and we've been fairly blessed with it so far is the weather I mean and, and um, Loch Lomond can turn relatively quickly um, and we're actually expecting it to be a little bit windy um, this afternoon anyway, so that'll be an interesting one. But yeah, weather's a bit of a challenge for us here, um, just one for us to keep an eye on really, because uh, it can make the conditions quite challenging, both for the safety team, the staff, the referees, but also the athletes as well. 
Great, thanks Martin. So as we pick up speed, so this video won't be uh, 10 hours long. Way. And if you can hear, with the wind here, the yellow boys are directional, so they can go either side of the yellow. And as we take the turn, boy, orange compulsory. Straight into the sun. But then you see the feeding pontoon. And then there's feeding pontoon platform two. And then we have the timing gates, which is compulsory. They must go through the timing gates. It's 300 meters along this top straight. As we go around this next compulsory orange turn buoy. Great, so yeah, that's good. So we just go slowly in now. So you can see we just headed straight down, and so those yellow boys are just optional as they come down. But then when they get to this, uh, the channel boys, all of these boys are compulsory for their own safety because if they go to the left of the red boys, then it is simply too shallow. So they must keep the red boys on the left hand side. So this area in front of us is called Loch Lomond Shores and there's a shopping centre, sea life, cafes. So it's fairly busy anyway, so it doesn't mean we get, you know, guaranteed to get some spectators. And as we go down now, we're just, the sort of line the swimmers are taking. Point to note now, as we look down to the left there, that is the evacuation pontoon. So that is where any swimmers who have to get taken off the water, they get taken um, to the evacuation pontoon where there's medical marquee and ambulance. I've got another video which shows you around the, the venue itself, um, but that is where all the kayakers are based, where they launch from. And here we go to the boys, into the channel. We're just adjusting the buoys now. We're gonna just move these yellow boys a little bit closer together. I uh, just give the swimmers a little bit of a wider channel because this is the, it's a 10K race today, so the biggest race. So we wanna give them as much space as possible as they go through these channels. So you can see the guys in the boat there. It's very nice pioneer boats. There you go, that's just some of the swim safety team, just sort things out. And there we go, so as they come into the finish, they're coming straight down, red boy on the left, yellow boy on the right. The finish funnel, we open up the finish funnel on the last lap. So the swimmers have got a good run into the finish there. But during the laps, we keep that fairly tight so the swimmers can get down, to go round the orange turn boy. And then the start finishes turns into a feeding pontoon, a feeding platform as they go along, and then they're coming back out. So that is the course, 2.5 kilometers. I think it's a great venue, it's a really interesting course for the swimmers. Here you go, that's just what I was talking about. We have these pink buoys for the finish funnel, just so it's a completely different color from everything else. 
we move this one further out for the finish and then like the course we've got the yellow lane rope for the right hand side and the red for the left hand side and then they come to the finish and all the branding on there so that is the course hope you enjoyed the tour check out chill swim youtube channel for more videos on no border swimming